People of the Ijo ethnic extraction have been encouraged to uphold and celebrate their traditional heritage amid the surge in Western culture in Nigeria. This was highlighted by some Ijo leaders at a celebration of the build-up of the coronation rites of the king of the Okoromo kingdom in the Ekarimo local government area of the state. We have details in this report. The Agbesu deity is regarded as the supreme god of justice and peace among the traditional worshippers of the Ijo ethnicity in Nigeria. As is the tradition on a day marking the last of a seven-week coronation rite, the new king of the Promo Kingdom, Ayabefa Ibikemi, emerges from isolation to conduct the final rites before his enthronement as king of the ancient kingdom. Representatives from the over 27 communities of the kingdom are in Amabolo, regarded as the progenitor of the Ijaws and custodians of the supreme Igbesu deity. They join the king on a water procession into the creek forest. This Igbesu is the strongest uh, tradition that we have here, and those our tradition, we must embrace it and every time that we want to install our king, those Egbesu things must take place. Other Ijo people, all of them, they are welcome. We are inviting them. We are trying to imitate what our forefathers told us. That's what you see the, the crowd there gather because of the traditional right that we are trying to do. My message to all Ijo's across is that we should never forget our tradition. Before we were born, there was tradition. And before, until we leave this earth, there is also tradition. Even the birds are not left out as they join the procession before they merge again after two and a half hours with His Majesty in the middle of the jubilant worshippers. He pays homage to his ancestors and the supreme Igbesu deity. Our leader, our son, Tompolo, he tried financially. I have to greet everybody both my traditional uh, council of chiefs and all the communities present here today to honor our deity, our Ijo God, to celebrate today the, the last day of our new king, Truman. The king is allowed to step back into his ancestral palace, marking a new dawn for the people of Opromo and the Ijo's across the globe.